Whoa! The left hook the body! This is one of my favourite punches, if not my favourite punch in boxing. I used to love throwing this punch. I used to put so many people on their backs by hitting them with the lead hook to the body. And on this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I had success with this punch to win so many fights, stop so many people in sparring, and give you all the tips and tricks you need. So the next time you're in the gym, you can practice on the lead hook to the body. Bam! and get as good as mine, maybe. And also at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a little secret tip, a little secret hint that coaches don't teach you to have success in landing it. So make sure you stay tuned till the end. This bonus tip that I think I made up, I'm gonna give it to you so you can have success with it. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European gold medalist. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing, how to punch harder, how to punch faster, how to get better reactions, better footwork, all that good stuff. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss another video like this. All right, let's get into it. So the lead hook to the body. There's a couple of ways to throw this punch. Now, throwing this punch and landing this punch is two completely different things. If you think about it, I've got an opponent in front of me. If I'm here, whoom, whoom, I slip, he's gonna see that coming. So to land a punch, uh, you've got to really make him think that you're not gonna throw it. The best body punches are the body punches that your opponent does never see. And if I'm in front of you and I'm throwing the body punch like this, boom, anyone can see that coming. So at the end, I'm going to tell you a little tip to be able to deal with that and be able to make sure you can land that punch every time. But for now, I just want to get into the techniques of it and how, and how to throw it. There's a couple of ways of throwing it. You know, the first way, the traditional way, is by leaning forward and then whipping it in. Now, when I'm leaning forward, I'm putting the weight to my front foot. So I'm here, I've leaned forward. Look where the weight is. It's on the front leg there. Look where the back heel is. The back heel is off the ground there. Because now what I'm doing, I'm loading up to blast that punch in. Now, unlike the hook to the head, when you throw that and you're in this position, you'll drop your back heel whoom, and transfer the weight to get the power to the head. But it's not the head. So we don't really want to have the back heel off the ground and then bring this back because it leaves you wide open, you know, from here. And we don't want to be wide open. When We never want to be wide open, right? So we never want to drop the back heel. Yeah, your chin's open, you're gonna get caught with that right hand. So, we wanna keep our hands up. We've slipped, the back heel is off the ground. What we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate the front hip, and this is where the power is here. Whoom. This is gonna get the power into that body shot. So I'm here, I'll do it slowly. Whoom. See, I'm rotating the front hip. The front foot is still kind of stuck to the floor. The back heel does rotate a little bit as if I'm squishing that bug, because that helps me Bring my hip around, my back, my back hip around. Not just concentrate on the front hip here, concentrate on the back hip. If I'll concentrate on the back hip, whoom, whoom. No, but we've got to keep our chin down, keep your back hand up. So watch this here, the back hip's going to turn, and I'm kind of squishing that bug on the floor. I'll show you from this side here. So I'm here, I've twisted forward, my hips are kind of parallel, my back heel's off the ground, and I'm going to twist this hip and kind of squish that bug, keeping the heel off the ground as I do it. And this is where the power comes from, from here. Yeah, so here we go. And you're seeing there, the power. And I wanna bring my arm with me. It's not this and then the arm, it's at the same time. So when the foot's moving, whoom, whoom, that punch is coming out and that's where the power comes from. So again, here. And you can see in the power there. I don't wanna exaggerate this though. I'll see, when I teach this and I'll see people, then they'll be like, <laughs> like some sort of Elvis Presley dancing. We don't want to be doing Elvis Presley dancing in boxing. Just a slight whoom, whoom. There, look, you see that? Whoom. And that's where the power is here. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, hard, hard punch right there. Now, as I mentioned, you want to have your back hand up by your face. And you don't want to bring your lead hand off your face too early. So what I'll see when people will do a slip, they might bring this down and then go, it's too late. Keeping your lead hand on your face while you've slipped there, and then as you twist, then it comes off. So I'm, so I'm here, I might throw a jab, slip, boom, there. And when you're practicing this punch, a couple of things, you know, don't look for power every time, look for technique. If you're looking for technique, you're gonna have way more success in it. That's the first thing. The next thing is, 
when you are starting to look for power, try and punch through the bag. Don't like bounce your hand off like this. If you punch through and drive through the bag, your power will increase. But again, we don't look for power every time. Work on that technique. Next thing, think about your non-punching hand when you're doing this. A huge common mistake is this. Yeah, can you see that? Where's this? Boom, I'm finished, I'm knocked out. Yeah, keep this up by your face. Wah, elbow tight in there. And again, last thing, I'm gonna mention it one more time. Don't bring your hand away from your face too early. So it's not warm, warm. Keep it on your face. Like that. And that right there is a pretty perfect lead hook to the body. But like I said, if you're in there with someone with experience and you're leaning over, boom, and through that hook, you're not going to land. You're, they're going to see that coming a mile away. And right now I'm going to give you my little secret that really helped me have success with this. And when you do this and you're going to try this, I guarantee you, you're going to have loads of success and you're going to come back to this video and comment and say, Tony, that was amazing. I've just dropped someone in sparring for the first time with this body punch technique that you've just showed us. But before I show you this, real quick, I just want to tell you about my sponsor. Check out this great supplement from Onnit. And what they're going to do for you is give you seven days free trial of Shroom Tech. The supplement that I take, they said, Tony, all your subscribers are going to get seven is for free so guys try it check it out when i take it i can do more in my training sessions the more i do in my training sessions the better i'm going to get the fit i'm going to get so i'll give this a go click the link below seven days free trial on it shroom tech unbelievable i love it and get seven days for free okay now let's get into this secret tip that you're waiting for what you're going to love so for this one i'm going to jump around this side of the bag so you can see remember what i said if i'm in some in there with someone who's experienced even if they're not experienced and i'm here and i slip oh, They've seen the slip and you know, they've blocked that punch. But if I remove the slip, yes, you heard that right. If I remove the slip and then throw the body shot, they're not gonna see the body shot coming. Now you're probably thinking, well, how are you supposed to throw a body shot without slipping? And that's kind of it, but a bit better. Now I want you to think about this. If I'm inside, I'm here with, with someone up close, right? And I throw this body shot here. <laughs> That right there, I didn't slip, I didn't transfer me weight, I didn't do any of this fancy elder stuff with me back foot, but I got enough power in the punch to hurt someone, to put someone away. So all I did here, I'm here, bah, through it. But I wanna go one step further with this and show you one more little trick that, you know, I love with this. And what that is, is touch upstairs. If I'm inside with someone, let's just say my guy is here and we're, we're up close. Every fight gets up close. Every spawn session gets up close. You can even practice this on your bag as well. I did it all the time. Practice on the bag all the time. I'm up close, bah, 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 touching. If I'm punching him up there, where's his elbows going to be? Where's his hands going to be? If someone's punching me, my hands are going to come up. If I've got experience, which I have, I'll come up, but I'll try and block my body as well. Most guys won't expect this punch coming. They'll definitely not see it coming. So I'm here, bah, 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 bah. See that? Again, what I did there, I did a one, two, hook, two, boom, body shot. Now, yes, coaches don't teach this. Coaches don't know this. Well, not, not all coaches. I apologize if you're coaching, you do teach this, but start teaching it. Watch this again. Bah, 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 bah. Excellent body punch right there. We'll finish someone off. If you want to know how to build your stamina when you're boxing, click here next. This video will show you exactly what you need to know so you can last longer when you're boxing training. The longer you last, the better you're going to go. Click here and check this video out next.